Obedience. Obedience may be costly, but the end result is priceless. Obedience may be costly, but the end result is priceless. Obedience may be costly, but the end result is priceless. Obedience is truly costly. Real obedience. But the end result is priceless. I'll be speaking briefly on the agony of obedience. The agony of obedience. But let's quickly understand this that the agony of obedience is far cheaper than the destruction of disobedience. Far cheaper than the destruction of disobedience. Matthew 26 and verse 37 to 39. And he took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, James and John, and began to be sorrowful and very heavy. That is the kind of obedience that was going through. Then said he unto them, My soul is exceeding sorrowful even unto death. Come and say agony. Thirty year and watch with me. And then he went a little further and fell on his face and prayed saying, Oh my father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou will. The agony of doing the will of God. The agony. Verse 42. He went away again the second time and prayed, Oh my father, if this cup may not pass away from me except I drink it, thy will be done. Now, in Luke 23 and verse 44, Luke 22, sorry, verse 44. And being in an agony, he prayed more earnestly, and his sweat was as it were great drops of blood falling down to the ground. The same episode in the Garden of Gethsemane. Being in agony, There is nothing he tells about this. He said, no, look, come unto me with that labor heavy laden, and I'm going to give you rest. Come and learn of me. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light, and you shall find rest for your souls. So there's a yoke in there, there's a burden in there, but it's lighter than the other side. Far, far lighter, but it's there. For the suffering of the moment cannot be compared with the weight of glory that shall be revealed. So there is something to go through here to get across there. This is what many believers hate. The way to pass through the agony of obedience, which is the highway to our enthronement. The agony of obedience. What makes it more agonizing is that he had power to get out of it. But he chose to stay with it. No one took my life from me. I have power to lay down. I have power to take it again. Whom seek ye? They said, Jesus, they fell back. Backward and to the floor. Amen. John chapter 18 and verse 6. They fell straight. And then Pilate said, I have power to release you. He said, Stop that nonsense. You have no power to hold me. John chapter 19, verse 10 and 11. You don't have the power. It's given from above, and I willingly surrender to it. You have no power. He said, Thou couldest have no power at all against me. You you have power. You fall to the ground straight. Now, somebody that had the power to set himself free decided to go through the agony of obedience that would result in his eternal enthronement 
eternal enthronement. I don't know whatever um, was in Peter's mind, but God helped him. Jesus said, get thee behind me, Satan. You have just said that, Peter, upon you, I will be the this church. And the gates of the shall not prison. So I became Satan. After I gave you my boat, and I'm now Satan. I left my father and left my boat and followed you. I'm now Satan. The devil wants him to react and miss his place in destiny. The agony of obedience. Peter went forward. Can I hear your amen? amen? No wonder he said, Woe unto them that are ease in Zion. Oh, commandments are not meant to be convenient, they are meant to be obeyed. They are meant to be obeyed. They are not designed to be convenient. They are packed to be obeyed. Jesus said, Yan does my father love me because I laid down my life. No one took it from me. I have power to lay it down. I have power to take it again. This commandment have I received of my father. My God. John 10, 17 and 18. I have power to lay it down. I have power to take it again. First Peter chapter 2, verse 19 down to 23. For this is thanksworthy if a man for conscience towards God endure grief, suffering wrongfully. For what glory is it if when we were when we be buffeted for your when you be buffeted for your faults, ye shall take it patiently. But if when ye do well and suffer for it, ye take it patiently, this is acceptable with God. Now, for even hereunto why ye called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that we should follow in his steps. Who did no sin, neither was Guy found in his mouth. And when he was revived, my God, his part on his face, he hit him in the cheek and pierced him by the side, he revived not again. When he suffered, he threatened not, but committed himself to him that judged righteously. That's a picture of the agony of obedience. 